Okay, so we're back again, and um, what you're looking at now is the painting upside down. There is a good reason for that. Um, and I'm going to put a layer of graphite um, ink onto it in just a moment. I've uh, I've used the lifting out technique with the um, tissue paper again. Specifically along where the bridge is, which I'm probably, it's pretty dry now. A little patch there where it's still a bit wet. And, um, but it's very much darker on the, the bottom half. And ideally, I would like to, yeah, retain some of that, but that's a bit too, I don't know. It's a bit too close tonally, I suspect, to where I'm going to go with information across here. So, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm debating with myself how I'm going to bring the graphite in and across here. I'm kind of working from my um, my initial painting. So, well, the best thing to do. Get some in on the top of it. So hopefully you'll see it over up. I want to bring the ball down and evenly balanced. Like a bit of Well, I'll, I'll be going in with much darker tone, so it doesn't matter if I lose tip, but it'd be nice to establish, I mean, I don't, you know, I can do something about that straight away. But really, I suppose the principle of what I'm trying to do here is establish this horizon line tonally, and my work backwards for justification for it, sort of being reverse engineer the horizon line, shall we say. What I'll do in a minute is the same thing as I've uh, done with a previous layer of ink, and I'll go in with some uh, use the lifting out technique. Right, that's it. I'm going to flatten that out now. I'm quite happy with where that's going. Don't want it going too wild. in itself. I think you can see how the um we'll see how it dries but um you can see why I went in with that initial layer of that golden brown to begin with. Of 
can't help thinking that they're making some sort of allusion to the Stranglers track, which is going to make you ponder. I do know the origins of that tune. That's why I like this tissue paper. Because it's got, not only is that quite an interesting patternation that you can sometimes see coming through in it. Not always, it's not as uh, rigid uh, as the, um, the kitchen towel I use for the same job. With the parquet flooring, I forget what it's called. Know what I mean by parquet flooring. Um, This one gives me a lot more chance. This is as an image compared to the ones that I was doing of the trees, which were quite evocative, I suppose. Um, this gives me a lot more chance to. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, to play with the inks a lot more. So the, the, it's not so much, um, how do I put it, compositional breaking going on. Trees are really good for busting up compositions. <laughs> Can't quite decide yet whether I should put something in to remove the, uh, that golden brown along here. It was at sunrise that I got the uh, original reference for it. Mm. I think I know why I have ideas like this. <laughs> Just to respond to them. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so unlike the the trees one uh, that I posted before, um, I think it was a two-parter from Nescliff, where ostensibly what I did there is upscale three uh, triptych. I completely upscaled all three. So, but what I've done with it, this is upscale from the original, but I've maintained the same scale across the bridge because I want to convey it being more distant across the field, which it was. Um, and I think it's going to give me more scope to play with the atmospherics as well. Because like I said, I can play within the ink and use that to create the dip. Because it, it, it's a lot more... It's complicated here, but it's in the distance. So I can, you know, it's... I can... There's a... There's a Fair degree of hiding I can do with uh, with the tonal gradations that I can use in there. I'm hoping anyway. Don't know uh, tempo. Um, so yeah, it's slightly different from procedure to the other one, but I think it will work. It will. 
I was going to just scale it up and square off my line drawing and then, and then I just decided it was getting too close to what the original scale was anyway and it might be advantageous to actually stretch it out. Keep the same scale of the bridge which is obviously the focal the viaducts and the, the aqueduct um, which is obviously the focus of the, the painting but um, push them back further really to give it you a, a better understanding because they are huge right? and they've been there since the Romans so yeah hopefully yeah, that explains my rationality to See if I can do it. One thing talking about it, it's another thing doing it. Yeah, so I'm going to cut up a bit more on and use the more textured tissue paper that I use in the foreground, obviously to give a bit of detail. Hopefully to play with the um, the perspective in it. I like the brevity of that mark across there, I'm trying to preserve that, and things that sort of allude to it, so. But I also want to create some sort of vertical depth here. So, something like, I don't know about that, maybe like that, straight across the middle of it. I know I'll break it in the end anyway, so I'm going to do that. There's actually a river that um, just arcs off there anyway. So you can see the ground when you're there receding in that direction in this sort of on a vertical from where you'd be looking at for this vantage point for the for the feature which is the viable aqueduct vaqueduct Sometimes when I use, uh, once I start adding different inks on top of each other, you get some quite interesting effects once you start doing this lifting out thing with them. Surprising which tones and hues end up dominating when you do it. And I've asked a guy, I've got a reasonably good rapport with a guy who, uh, well, owns the company. And he has no idea. <laughs> and I'm not allowed to see the chemical process. Which is understandable. It's all recipe stuff, I suppose. Okay. Oh, no. I'm going to put it to a stop there for a bit while it dries out. Hmm. Sort of thinking now at the moment. Yeah. Something about that. Think something like that.
which I probably will lift out quite a bit of that ink from that. What's going on there with the bridge, especially where the uh, arches or either side of them that will obviously pay off. Um, okay, yeah, cheers for watching, and uh, I'll keep filming as it develops. Top. So,